Hello everyone. Today we will learn about how to align short reads using BWA software. Let's take an example. We have three reads. We want to align them into the reference genome. After alignment, we can see the first read perfectly aligned to the reference genome. The second read has a substitution mutation. That means it has T in the read, but the reference contains a. The third read has an insertion. There is a G in the read, but there is no G in the reference genome. So the beauty of an alignment algorithm is that it can align the reads even there are some mismatches and gaps between the reads and the reference genome. The alignment algorithm tries to find the best possible alignment location or the best possible matches of a read with the reference genome. For that, it can scan the entire genome to find a best match. The alignment algorithm needs to be efficient because the next generation sequencing technologies generates millions of reads. To align millions of reads into a reference genome could take a long time and require high computation if they are not efficient. So to align millions of reads into the reference genome, the alignment algorithm uses strategies that speed up the alignment process. For example, BWA uses an indexing approach that allows BWA to find substring match quickly that speed up the alignment process. Here I will show a high level example how BWA aligns reads to a reference genome it has two steps. At first step, it generates the index of the reference genome and then it performs the alignment. So let's take an example of this read. We want to align it to this reference genome. At first step, it creates the index of the reference genome. Indexing creates data structures such as FM index and BWT of the reference genome. FM index is a compressed suffix array used for efficient substring searches within the reference sequence. It allows BWA to quickly locate matches for parts of the reads in the reference genome. After indexing, we can align the reads using BWA mem. The BWA mem command performs seed based alignment where parts of the read, which is called seed, here I'm showing the seed sequence within this read. The seeds are first aligned using FM index. Then the entire read is aligned by extending the seed from both sides. This is how BWA efficiently aligns reads to the reference. In today's tutorial, I will show a live demonstration how we can use the commands to index the reference genome and how we can align using BWA mem. After aligning all the reads into the reference genome, BWA reports this alignment information in a SEM file. SEM file is a text file that contains alignment quality information, the location of alignment, and has many flags for alignment description. It also contains many other information. I have a separate video on SEM file format. Please take a look into this video to know more about SEM file, what information is inside the SEM file, and how to interpret the SEM file. Today we will show an example how we can align paired end reads to the coronavirus genome. Coronavirus genome is relatively small, so we can perform the alignment using our personal computer. So we need to install some dependent softwares such as we will install BWA. Also, we will install NCBS dataset command line interface. This will allow us to download the coronavirus genome in a faster file format from NCBI. Also, we need to have installed SRA toolkit. SRA toolkit will allow us to download the paired end sequencing library from SRA database. And we will download these two files, coronavirus genome, as well as a paired end sequencing library that contains the uh, reads 
from the coronavirus genome because the sample is taken from a coronavirus infected individual. Let's start downloading the dependent software and the dataset to perform BWA alignment. At first, we will download BWA software from Anaconda using this command. Yes, to install. And then we will install NCBI dataset command line interface from Anaconda using this command. So I already have SRA toolkit installed, so I will not reinstall it. So let's go to the download of data. We will use NCBI's CLI. This command starts with dataset download virus genome and we can download by accession. So this is the accession for coronavirus genome. And using this command, we can directly download the coronavirus genome from NCBI. I am pressing enter. It may take some time depending on the file size. Download is finished. There is a file. This is a zip file. Let's uncompress it. It has extracted all the file. There is a data directory. Yes, the genomic.fna is the genome file. Let's take a look into this file. Yes, this is the FASTA file. This is the coronavirus genome. This is the complete genome with this accession. Now we will download the paired and sequencing library using SRA toolkit. We will use the FASTAQ dump command and press enter. This will download the paired in files into this current directory. It has finished the download of paired in library. Let's take a look. The faster Q dump command has downloaded this library. This is a paired in library, so it has two fast Q files. Now we will align these two fast Q files to the genomic FNA file. The first step is to create the index. Using BWA, we will create the index of the reference genome file. BWA index, it shows the usage, how to use the BWA, BWA index command. After BWA index, we need to provide the genome file. And it has created the index. After creating index, there are some files created. After .fna, the file is amb, ann, bwt, pack, sa. This is how BWA has created the index for the reference. After creating the index, we will align the reads to the reference genome using BWA mem command. Here are the usage and to align using BWMM, we need to provide the genomic file, then the first read and then the second read. Also, we want to write the output in SEM format. So this command will uh, align the reads to the reference genome and also will save the results in this .sem file. Let's press enter. BWA is performing alignment. Depending on the size of the genome, as well as the number of reads in the library, the runtime could vary. So BWA has finished its running and the alignment is stored in a SEM file. Let's open the same file, which is a text file. We can see the results 
are stored in the same file so next in the part two i will show how to make the entire pipeline using the standard protocol to align paired and short reads into a genome in the next video i will show how to use sem tools to convert sem file into bam file and how to sort a bam file and how to remove the duplicated reads and also we will show how to use sem tools to generate statistics of the alignment please stay tuned to learn more about bioinformatics tools